Hi, last week I showed you how you could use sales order batches to make transferring multiple documents at one time and printing multiple documents at one time a whole lot easier for you. Today I'm going to show you a feature where you can use something other than a batch to transfer multiple documents. And before I do that, I want to show you some particular orders. So I have my batch pulled up for email and let's change it to just look at the orders and you'll notice I have three orders out there and this first order in particular I want to show you I have a requested ship date of April 12th 2014. I also want to point out that this order is set to be invoiced rather than back ordered. Okay so it's very important to point to note what the next step for transfer by default would be. So let me save this and close this out. And in GP 2013, I'm going to choose the option Transfer Multiple Orders from the Sales Transaction menu. And when I do this, I get my Sales Multiple Orders to tra Invoice Transfer window. And I can tell it what kind of document I want to transfer, either orders or back orders. Note that you cannot use this to transfer quotes. OK or invoices into something else. So I'm going to transfer orders and you'll create a destination batch and this is a batch that doesn't exist. So not only am I transferring these documents but I'm also at the same time moving them to a unique batch. So I'm going to create a batch called, we'll call it April 2014 and when I tab off that it'll prompt me to add. Now I must add a new batch here. I then answer the question how I'd like to handle my shortages and I'm going to tell it to just override all the shortage and now I can tell it by which criteria I want to transfer documents. So I do I want to just transfer a particular customer, a particular type of document. I'm going to choose line requested ship date. So it's going to look at all the line items on these documents and only transfer the individual lines that meet the criteria that I'm keying into my restrictions. So only documents that are orders that have a line requested ship date of April 2014 I'll put it the whole April range and I'll insert that into my restriction. So it'll just include those, including the one document I just showed you. I'll click on transfer, we'll print the transfer log and as you can see it has indeed transferred three separate orders, just the line items that met the criteria that the requested ship date fell within that range into three individual invoices. And now if I pull up this batch called April that we just created, April 2014, there it is, you could see I have some documents included in it. Whoops. I have some documents included in it. And if I were to go in and look, I will see my three transactions, that are the three invoices, and it also included one order and the reason it included this order is it went ahead and moved this order to the new batch but I only invoiced one of the line items so it went ahead and moved the order but now I can just deal with printing the invoice and the pa packing slip for this particular order and I could leave the rest right here. This is a cool way to work if you're into sales order processing. Hope this helps.